you have your own new PC or one for your child and you want to restrict their access, Microsoft has some steps and here they are. Um, you need to be using your Outlook or Hotmail account because it has to coordinate with the Outlook account you're going to create for them. But here's the steps to take in order to do it. So let's get to it. So we go in here and um, we want to go to Outlook.com and click on the set up new account. And fill all this out. You can do this later, but uh, it's handy to have it already done. So we're going here and set up uh, everything for a new account. Now, if this is the only account on it, then you just set it up as normally uh, when the Windows boots up and you first install it, uh, fire up the PC, so it'll walk you through. But if you already have an account on your PC and you're sharing it, for example, uh, you would go over here to accounts and you click over here on the family safety. And we'd say, add a family member. Now, if you go over here, it'll come up with a couple of choices. One is an adult or a child. If it's just an adult and you don't even need a family safety, that's fine. Or you can add another adult to help monitor the child's stuff. But let's go ahead and add a child. So if we go in here and we click there and we just want to here, we want to put in an email address that uh, you created earlier, uh, that Outlook address. Now, if you didn't do that, you can still go down here below this and instead of filling it in, you click here and say, I didn't have it. You can create the account here instead of doing it up front. So, uh, you fill in all the information here and then you would go next there. But we're going to uh, back up and then do it the, the way it was in this previous step. So then we go up here and we click on Add a Child and we type in the email address that we've already created uh, in there. And then we just simply click on the next button to go on to the next step, which is to tell us, hey, add this person that wants to confirm it. And we say, okay. And there's the explanation of what's going to happen uh, when this person gets added to this PC and what rights they're going to have. Uh, but more importantly, it tells them that, hey, uh, until they log in the email and accept the invitation, it won't be able to happen. But you're going to do that for them anyway. So we're going to go here. It shows it as child pending. So here we are, we're logged in as the uh, child account uh, in Outlook, and uh, we go there, and we click over here into the Outlook, and sure enough, there's the invitation. Now, first of all, it comes up as the Welcome to Your New Inbox invitation, because we just created it, so we're going to get out of that, and go in here and look at the invitation, it's going to say, okay, um, old guy or whoever would like to add it, and say, accept, and once they click on that, and here's what it talks about, join the family and exactly what's going to happen here. So if you have a really young child, they're not going to care about this, okay? All they know is they have to do whatever you tell them to do to, in order to get onto the computer. So uh, instead, uh, you go ahead and read all this stuff and you understand what you can and cannot do and uh, what it allows them to do. So we click on a button and that completes the setup. So let's take a look at uh, using it. So here I am back on the PC and logged in, and you see it says here that uh, child pending. I go back out a little bit and go back in to refresh it, and sure enough, now it says it's a child, so it's already been approved, and uh, you can start uh, monitoring. So let's uh, take a look at that. Now, you don't have to go through the settings every time to do get to this. You know, to click on the uh, manage the uh, user's rights, you can make a shortcut to do that in your browser. But anyways, it jumps us to the right page. And so we'll go here and it shows, there it is. Uh, there I am logged in as old guy and there's the uh, fake son account that I created temporarily. So here, uh, we're going to turn on uh, some features here. We're going to say block inappropriate apps and games. Now on the right, Microsoft says they already do it for adult content, but uh, you can do additional restrictions. Now I'm setting the use person as a eight-year-old just to give you an idea of what's going on. But you can set it for whatever you want. So we go down here, and besides doing that, we can set the number of hours per day, the, the hours of the day and the number of hours a day that they can stay on the computer. So I'm doing that for that day, uh, just for Sunday, to, as a demo here, and uh, set it up so that we uh, do that. And there's no save. You just back out, and that's what it is. The next thing you can do is you can go to another tab, and you can actually purchase them, give them money to spend at the Microsoft Store uh, so that they don't buy too much stuff. Uh, and you limit that. 
uh, and then they can come ask you one if you want to buy more. You can ask them the questions you need to. Uh, so if we click on this button up here, it'll step through and say how much you want to add. I'm not going to go through the actual. You put a credit card in, and you do all that, and you do your payment. So here's the screen for that. Is once you uh, once it then refreshes, it says ten dollars would be. You go in there, and that's where you set up your your credit card. So once you have it set up, you you want to monitor. So here I am logged in as the child or as the restricted user, and I threw on Candy, Candy Crush here, and I played it a little bit. So now it doesn't happen immediately. If we go back into the account, though, you'll see websites they've gone to, and you can block those. Uh, and down here you can see actual programs that run. And there's Candy Crush, and I can click on block here, and they can never play it again, or you can temporarily turn it off. Uh, do all that kind of do all that for any program that they play on the computer. Now, if I say show more, there may be a longer list. Some of these are just utilities which you don't care about because they they're going to run. And lastly, there's the area that you can go down and take a look at how much time they're uh, spending online. And there's a time there that shows when I was online. Uh, as that user. There is one thing you need to be aware of. If you ever go in here and the child account is gone and there's another user down below, a local account, that means your child has gone into the, his configuration when he's in there and learned that there's a bug that allows them to say, oh, sign in as a local account, and it removes everything. Not a problem. You just go in there because you won't be on your managed users list when you go onto the web. You just come in here and put them back, and everything's fine. Tell them don't do it again. Uh, maybe later on, uh, Microsoft will fix that so they can't do it uh, without your permission. Uh, just something to watch out for. But there's family safety uh, for Windows 10. Uh, for those of you that want to control your child's uh, browsing and game playing, it's a great little feature. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos. All here to help you make the most out of your system.